Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here. Let's continue playing as the Steel Rangers in our campaign here. So, yes, I know some people are upset regarding my decision to, first of all, play as the Desert Rangers, which most people think it's okay. Not bad, pretty good. No, no, usually not done on YouTube before. But some people were upset that I decided to play or ally with the Brotherhood of Steel. I know some people don't like them, some people really don't care for them, but um, overall, I just did it because with the Steel Rangers or the Desert Rangers really, if you go with the Brotherhood and you can basically surround the NCR very easily, you can take them out. Some people just wanted me to play with or play or ally with the NCR, the New California Republic. Yes, I suppose I could have done that, but, um, but I didn't want this campaign to go on too long so and that's why I decided to go with the, the Brotherhood which won't make this a super super long campaign so and within the next campaign I will take out the Brotherhood and make sure that they never return all right that's just my inclination the next time the next campaign which I've pretty much decided who I'm gonna play as I'm just gonna take them out uh, for right now, just go ahead and finish this off. As you can tell, I already decided to attack Ruby Valley Refuge, mostly because they don't really have that very much. They don't have a lot of population. They're already on extensive conscription. They're kind of just there, to be honest with you. And besides, I think I'm just going to annex these guys because they constantly get more daily people support while I'm trying to get probably, in the end, more intellectual support. So, annexing them will probably be good. I'm trying to reform the boundaries of Nevada, like... As best as I can. Obviously, you know, I have to use some slant here. Then you have to go straight up eventually. And then you go to the left for like another straight line. Um, I don't want them to join a faction. So I'm not going to let them in. So let's keep let time go on. Don't really need my allies for this. So. But yeah, I, I really want to, as the Desert or Steel Rangers, just to make sure that I... Ooh, nice little encirclement. Just basically reunite... Nevada. That's my main goal. And there goes right through territories. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, more land for me. And factories. Really, I really want more and more factories. Uh, I am thinking, though, right now, they have enough manpower. They have no divisions of their, of them, for themselves. I'm going to go ahead and add another one here because I want to make as many divisions as possible earlier on so that way I can stop borrowing stuff from... Or just stop making my own divisions. Yes. I did find it yesterday <clears throat> after I ended the episode. Let's let time go on. <clears throat> that it's under managed subjects to see how much manpower each of your puppets divisions that you use. The colonial divisions. How much manpower they use. So right now since Sky Reavers is my puppet. I get to use 90% of their manpower in colonial divisions. And use 10% of my own. So that's not too bad overall. Uh, for this. Let's go ahead and do this. Take you guys. Do that. Actually, just take half of you guys up there. Oh, actually. Take the other half. Come to the south. Do that. And then have you guys come over here. So. Uh, my next puppet. Oh, at the current moment, to be honest with you, I'm just kind of waiting for the Brotherhood to go to war with New California Republic. <clears throat> as we're trying to reunite Nevada. So, I'm just going to absorb as many enemies, enemy, as many people as I possibly can into my country, building up a whole lot of stuff, making myself super powerful, and then, yeah, go to war with New California Republic, take a bunch of territory from California, maybe puppet the New California Republic, maybe, but definitely want to puppet the Scorpions, excuse me, puppet the Scorpions down here eventually, and this is going to be a little bit of a problem over here, but that's fine, so, no problems, no problems. Okay, this is definitely unexpected. It's probably because NCR took Hoover Dam. Now let's see what happens. If the Brotherhood goes to war with the NCR as well, then I'll definitely go to war and help them out. But if the NCR wins the war against the Legion, obviously they'll have the Phoenix Republic to deal with, probably, in the end. So, huh. This is interesting. I was not expecting Kaiser's Legion to go to war with them so quickly. Uh, military factories, production, this stuff, the one on the right can be pretty much ignored. 
Point Head Trader isn't bad. Civilian Factor Construction Speed. Not non core manpower. Recruitable Population Factor would be good. Uh, chem Studies. Let's go ahead and do with some Recruitable Population first, though. That would be for the best. We got 79 Factories. Very good. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not extremely hard playing as a Rangers if you know what to do. Kind of. So. And how many days do we have left? Probably a lot. Alright. About 80-ish. Traditional Instruction. Very good. Doing more of that. Basic energy weapons. Don't really need that since we already have this. So, can probably ignore that. Oh, defense and breakthrough. What about planes? Could use probably more planes, can't I? Nice. Let's just let time go on. Do that there. Do that to there. Because, actually, dive bombers will be very, very important for us in the future. Nice. I mean, just an air force in this mod is just so necessary. Because the AI really doesn't use planes too much. So, and we get more heart attack. Very good. Let time go on. Watch what is happening between Kaiser's Legion. Oh, they're actually beating the crap out of the NCR. Oh, baby. That's not good. That's really not good. Ooh, if I go... You know what? I could probably pull in the Brotherhood to fight the NCR. Because it looks like they're going to get defeated by the Kaiser's Legion. So, this might be very, very necessary to do right now. Mm, I think these guys should have it up north, so. That's it. We gotta take out the NCR, just because... Why did Kaiser go to war with them? They have Mexican expansion. Crossing the Rubicon. War for Hoover Dam. They didn't do that. Huh. Mexican expansion. Very interesting to see them go to war so early. And we've got another infantry division. Nice. Rangers, you're just gonna be kind of off by yourself for now. Elite Rangers team. Still can't edit, add anything on there. Go and get another general. Graham Kieran. Nice. More defense and logistics and then more attack. That's actually not bad. Yeah, we lose some recovery rate, but that's okay. Cool. Very good. Go ahead and Fallon deploy within area 6. And you deploy an old bishop. Awesome. So, like I said, our main goals are to basically reunite all of Nevada under me. And then... Oh my gosh, no, this is not good. The NCR is getting quickly taken out by the New California Republic. Oh no, Kaiser's Legion is killing the New California Republic. That's really not good. But, unite Nevada, take out the NCR, destroy Kaiser's Legion. That's the main goal. Jesus Christ, what is going on down there? I have to go to war with the bear. Because I want that, at least the infantry combat width. Uh, Non-core manpower. Let's do this one next. Come on. Uh, both of you come over here. What is going... How is the NCR losing this badly? Kaiser isn't <clears throat> overpowered. They, they might even have more divisions of manpower. Oh my goodness. This is... Radically interesting. Very, very interesting to see what's going on. So now, if I go to war, and I call in my allies, the way the peace deal will work is this. I want... <clears throat> I wanted the Scorpions, but since they're taking all that land, probably not going to happen. <clears throat> the Rapids will probably take this part of California. Geographical California. Oh my goodness, this is not good. This is really not good. I, was not, I did not want this to happen just yet. It's only 2278, I guess, but... Like, where are they in their own focus tree? Hero of the Mojave, they did Old World Wall. They didn't do Assault and Hoover Dam, either. Well, I'm just gonna do whatever I can do. We're pretty much ready to go, anyways. Oops. So, it's fine with me. We're doing this early, guys, because I don't know why. Go ahead and give you of that. Oh, and I've called in some allies... And I've already called the Brotherhood and Mojave Chapter in, but they can't really do very much. So it's basically already the end of the NCR. I can't go back and ally with them because they're going to be dead soon. They're going to be dead. Which is unfortunate. I did not plan on doing this this early. A little ridiculous, to be honest. So, supplies... Probably not too good down here. Hmm... 
Do I need more resources? No, not really. We're making another military factory. Let's go ahead and make some more civilian factories in up here. And then make some military factory down here. And then that, and then uh, that. But I do want to help my ally out so they don't come rebellious when I use their stuff. Do that. Actually, put that at the top. Just because i got to make sure that they're forever under my rule. Not bad, not bad. It's just... This has happened before where the Kaiser's Legion goes to war with these guys very quickly. Ridiculous. Excuse me. Ridicul ridiculously quickly. God dang it. They're, they're advancing so fast, I can't take land. Just go ham at this point. We gotta take as much stuff as possible. So, I've taken 14% of total war participation. Mojave chapter's in the war. New Reno's done a little bit. 18%, 9%, 17%. 39% 9 for Khazar's Legion. 31% for the Rapids. We're at 21%. Good. God dang it. Stupid Khazar's Legion. Get out of the way. <clears throat> well, the Brotherhood doesn't get involved. Hopefully I can take some more of their land. And the bandits are gone. Wow. That's a big old pie's bandits. And, god dang it, the Brotherhood's now at war. Ugh. Something tells me we're going to end up in a war with the Rapids eventually. I did not want this to happen this quickly. But, too late. Do that. Seize on Patriotism. No. I'm losing stability for more war support. Where's the war? Oh, crap. I clicked on the one. I thought we had stability as well to gain more stability. Okay, so... Jesus Christ, this was fast. So, I'm going to be nice. To a degree. So, let's start with New Reno just because they're up top. Make these lands a little bit more... Balance, I suppose. So they'll get like, let's see what that looks like. Um, not bad. Let's give it to the Brotherhood next. No, that's Mojave chapter Brotherhood. Look at this part of California. Not bad. Kaiser's Legion obviously deserves a lot of this. I'm trying to balance things out a little bit, but obviously I don't have to be extremely balanced. So get that, 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 that. Uh. See what that looks like. So they got that territory. Any mistake I make right now can be. Oh wait. Oh, did I take that? I took that by accident. I can get that back later. Kaiser's Legion. Let's do the Rapids. Besides, this is not the only piece deal that will come through. Just because. Let's just say that I've got plans for everyone else. Kaiser's Legion. I mean, honestly, they did so much of this. Um, I have to give this land to Kaiser just because he did most of the work. Very nice. That's pretty much as much as Kaiser going to get. Now I'm going to take this. I'm going to take Shady Sands. Uh, let's see. That might not be bad. Definitely give the Western Brotherhood this stuff. They honestly don't deserve very much of this. <clears throat> but I'd rather have the Western Brotherhood own this than Kaiser, I suppose. Let's do the Boneyard. Kaiser gets San Gabriel. Reno gets this and this. And then I guess I'll just... I don't want to take all this stuff because it feels like I haven't done very much. Which I haven't, but whatever. This is my playthrough. So this looks disgusting. This looks absolutely disgusting. And I honestly kind of don't like the look of this. Oh. Let me change this up. State transfer tool mod. Take mark. Take mark. Transfer it over. Awesome. So now the Brotherhood owns a lot more territory. Holy crap. Now will we get an event saying that we don't like what has happened. And we have the economy ruined. And I was at the war for so little that I can't do War of the Bear. The one thing that I wanted to do, I can't do. <sighs> The main reason why I chose the Brotherhood was to get this, and I can't even do it. Man, that sucks. But, what would happen if I decided to liberate the NCR? Because I could use them as a puppet. Hmm. And there we go. Oh. Um, I still have this territory. Uh, you know what? 
I don't mind. Uh, actually, no one has this as a core. And I don't like the way this looks. I'm really focused on Nevada. So, let's take this. Gunderson Ranch. I'm going to give this back to the New California Republic. And make them court because it should be part of their territory anyways. So, just let them have it. So, this way they have their, they have a lot of manpower. They're still alive. They've been greatly reduced. But now they're under General, or just Grant C. Hayes. They're a beacon of, dem god dang it. They're a beacon of democracy. Well, that's not cool. That might screw me up in the end. Uh, maybe it was not a good idea to do that. Beacon of democracy. No. Oh, okay. Oh, that doesn't mean too much. Okay. That just means they can get out of, like, isolation, economic policy, or something like that. Okay. Oh, we can still do... Ooh, first battle for Hoover Dam. That's not good. That would put me in war with the Legion very, very quickly. So, uh, oh yeah. What's the manpower of this group? Nice. So, that's... This was actually pretty ridiculous what I just did. Let's do that. We'll do that over there, but since the New California Republic is back, and I have... Holy crap, that's a lot of divisions. I have quite a bit of army XP. Hmm. Rangers. They have their own rangers. I just want to use their infantry. 22 combat width is not cool to me. Basic power armor. That's pretty cool. Basic power armor. Basic power armor. They have a lot of power armor divisions. 22 combat width again. 19 combat width, which is what actually I used earlier on. NCR troops. Frankly, just give me this, and I will edit this. So. Infantry... For this, this gives you more soft attack. You you use quite a bit more supply if you do this. Um, more defense, more soft attack. That sounds really good, honestly. So do that. Replace you with even more machine guns. Oh. No, don't do that, because you lose a lot of stuff. Hmm. What if I just did this? Infantry, and then infantry. We, let's just go with straight infantry. Explosive support, medical companies, machine gun support, and then... I will put on anti-tank, but not yet. Cool. And give me three of those. Cool. Awesome. I honestly did not expect that this would happen so flippin' quickly. And we've got about a month before I can go to war with Ruby Valley Refuge. What the heck? This is a little bit ridiculous. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. We'll send you up here. Send you over here. And put the main army underneath here. Wow. Wow. I can't believe that was that quick. I mean, the Brotherhood of Steel is pretty quick. I mean, I don't... I'm not going to say that I'm not going to end up in a war with the Brotherhood of Steel later. I might just backstab them in the end. You never know what I might do. Metal working, very nice. Um, monthly population, but we will have to focus on Kaiser's Legion a little bit later. Yes, unfortunately, they have pretty much all of New Vegas and this area, as well as a good chunk of what was NCR lands. But whatever. This will be the major, like huge enemy that we have to fight in the future, as you can probably tell. You guys deploy here. You guys deploy here. Actually, are you cons- what type of puppet are you consider? You're just a puppet. Hmm. I can do head trader, which would be good for supplies. Hmm. The sound of water. What about down here? Viper, jackal, more- less supply consumption, that's good. Organization and recovery rate. Frontline operative, not bad. Infantry... Uh, well, I'm going to be focusing quite a bit on other stuff. Resource efficiency gain. Consumer goods factories. I'm going to need as many consumer goods as possible. That's my plan. Just because... I'm going to need to build things in my puppets. To make sure they don't rebel against me. So. Oh, savage fighter. Salvage fighter. Not a savage fighter, but a salvaged fighter. Very nice. Go ahead and replace this with that. Awesome. Good stuff. Deploy units. Uh, just deploy them right here. Cool, very good. Oh, I almost missed the day for where we were supposed to attack. I'm glad I caught that. I don't need my puppets here. Uh, cool. You are from the... I think you're from Sky Reavers, mostly. I think. Doesn't really matter. Some of our guys are attacking. Um, I'm okay with you saying no to you. No, I just want my allies to help us out here. As long as the south wins, southern portion. You guys in the north, just kind of relax. 
Push in if you can. The south will really ha hammer the enemies. Mojave brother, no. Sky Reavers, yes. Let's use some patriotism. We're lowering our stability for more war support, which is a bad idea. But whatever. What happens, happens. Uh, Antelope tribes and Cyclops tribes aren't doing super great. 140 days. That will be quite a while. Nice. Easy peasy. Well then. Well then. Take you guys, come up here. I don't think that they, these guys will be very hard to defeat since they're already in a war by themselves. But we have to, right now, keep an eye on Kaiser's Legion as well as my own puppet, the New California Republic. Wait, NCR buyout. Um, oh, they can become more, a little bit more oligarchic. Siege of that. Oh, they get the cores back on Gunderson Ranch. As well as other places, even though I already gave them the cores. Whoops. Ranger Armory. Nice. More construction speed for military factories. Community Outreach. Civilian Factory Outreach. Cool. Let's just let time go on, because I need some more time to pass before I can go to war again. Hmm. I will need some logistic companies as well, though. Alright, guys, our Legion declared war on those guys over here. Good stability, good war support at the moment. Pecos Colonies. New California Republic compared to the NCR. What's the Brotherhood doing? Laser Focus Foundry. Right, we can get some more equipment, but do I need more equipment? Not really. I need more planes. Uh, nope. That's a little bit ahead of time. Get more research speed. That'd be great. What? What? New Reno. Um... Yes, so this way I can actually take some territory as well. So, doing this was a waste of time. Attacking them immediately. Cyclops tribes, then, is where it's all at. So, I'll split this up with New Reno, I guess, a little bit. Kind of stupid, but whatever. Alright, then. So, not really much happened. I don't really want to give them that much territory, but they did start the war... Hmm, I don't want this to be too ugly, though. I definitely want Denio. Denio. I'm going to take this. And you will take that. There you go. New Reno's getting pretty large. Ah, uh, sure, join us in the war. You guys just kind of hang out. You guys just kind of hang out. Man, I wish I had faster war justification, but yeah, I know. Whatever. Take up Cyclops Tribes next, then followed up probably the, by the Troll War or Bone Dancers or Washington Brotherhood or something like that. Anti-Armor Tactics, very nice, more Heart Attack. And then, of course, more Militia Supply use, and then our army will use even less supplies. I mean, we're producing so many things. It's so good, but I'm a little worried about, like, what we're going to do, I suppose. I don't know. I'm really just waiting for... Kaisar or the NCR to just go ahead and just start killing each other. That's really what I'm kind of waiting for, to be honest. Focus on the internal sphere. More stability for less war support. Uh, let's do that because it's 100 days. Ooh, look at those NCR troopers. I don't have that on these guys. Why did they? Why, not, why are you different? Why do you have that little template there? Because the infantry template is colonial and you guys are this is republican colonial template huh they're at war with those guys well, whatever flying formation very nice what 94 years ahead of time do that next not bad not bad just bone dancer the northern league look at that thick brotherhood Ooh, north oh Oh, man. We'll go to war with the Washington Brotherhood. Then we'll be at war with Port Maul. We'll be at war with the Bone... Uh, bone Dancers, maybe? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's going to be one heck of a war against those guys. I would definitely have to call in the entire Brotherhood of Steel to take them out. As we're waiting to go to war with, of course, Kaiser's Legion. Kaiser's Legion. Gaius... Oh, Gaius Magnus. That's on the right. Oh, that... Oh, he's just a general. Kimball's protege. Keep stacking more infantry on here. That'd be great. Building more civilian factories in the Sky Reavers. Awesome. More military factories and civilian factories for us, which is good. Right now, manage subjects. 
Nice, their dependency is going lower and lower, which will be important to keep an eye on. Ranger propaganda. Medical chem company trickle back goes up. Thank you. Militarized society, less stability for more weekly war support. We might as well do that now. Alright, just. You guys can probably just go ahead whenever you can. Not too long before we go to war with them. It would take 185 days to go to war with the Northern League. Yeah, these guys are not too bad. 400 defense is pretty good. Yeah, double machine guns, medical chem companies, recon, machine gun support, explosive support, simple circuitry, very nice. Get some more reinforce rate, that'd be great. Power armors, I could scavenge for stuff, but actually, old world tech, no, that was an Enclave Reborn thing. Let's see, we get 1.09 political power a day, not bad, not bad. Very soon we will be at war with the Cyclops tribes, and then I'll justify on... Bone Dancers. Uh, don't need to call allies. Bone Dancers... We definitely want to go to war with these guys. Oh, and someone got wounded. Old country declared war on Heaven's Gate. Let's see. No. Yes. N oh. God dang it. Stop telling me everything here. Cool. Whatever. Yeah, they were all going to be called in eventually. Um, yeah, pretty good. I mean, we really don't need to produce a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll produce more power armor, to be honest with you. But, it's not extremely hard as long as you can have enough time to build up stuff and have a great time with everyone. Nice. Very good. Uh, go ahead and throw all this up at the top. And because we're starting to use some NCR Rangers, I'm going to start building them up. Or NCR divisions. I'm start building those guys up as well. As well as myself. I mean, I have 100 factories. That's not an extreme amount, but that's pretty good. Right, so, actually, are you guys still at war? Or No. No, you're not. The Bone Dancers are actually independent. Interesting. So, actually... I mean, I already have my two puppets that I really want to use manpower. It was the Scorpions, but now it's turning to the NCR, as well as the Sky Reavers. For the Bone Dancers, I mean... I think for the most part, we're just going to flood into the enemy's territory as best we can. I'm probably going to end up taking most of this, so... Oh. That's not good. Limited conscription. I will probably have to go to war or go to extensive conscription. Because, yes, we are not known for having an extreme amount of manpower. Oh well. Let's get some more breakthrough in defense. And I'm going to save up my political... Power to a degree. Let's see. Um, at this point, go ahead and just lower this down by one. I think that'd be good. Yeah, that would probably be pretty good. Yeah, I definitely have to go with extensive conscription. There's a lot of manpower we have here. Rate of propaganda, more non-core manpower, which will be good. Awesome. We're almost done with our focus tree, which is kind of... I don't know, maybe a little bit disappointing in me, for me. I'm going to run out of manpower very soon. Wasteland, survivalism, good. And now we get more recovery rate and reinforce rate when this is done. We got some of this. Uh, go ahead and build up that area. I really don't need that much more. I just keep making some more civilian and military factories. That's really it. So that I can continue to build in my allies' lands. That's really the plan here. Uh, does that time go on? Manpower probably will be my biggest issue, unfortunately. And do that and that, 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 that as well. Extra divisions, nice. Painted men declared war on foragers, that's fine, no one cares about them. Not bad, Steel Rangers is justifying against them. Very good, we got quite a bit of political power. Very nice. Love to go to war economy, but whatever. Primitive radio, very cool. Reinforce rate. Get more research speed. Alright. What is the NCR up to? Oh no, that's not good. That's really not good. Assault on Hoover. Damn. They won't go to war with each other immediately, but... It'll be some time, definitely, before we... Really have a good war with them. Alright, let's go ahead and go to war. As we finish this off. I'm going to call all my allies, but I'm going to take up all the land in the end. 
and do extensive conscription because I need more manpower. And tell you guys to go like that. And this war should not be very difficult at all. That's a lot of casualties. Very good. Very good. Mobilize the people. That's weekly war support. Seize on patriotism. Militia training. Very nice. Um, reinforce rate. Radar would be very, very beneficial. Going to do sharecropper stuff just because we get just a tiny bit more population. Point head mechanic. Cool. Oh, we do. We want more breakthrough and soft attack. Vision, defense. And I want that power armor. Oh. Go ahead. Just casualties shouldn't be too high for us. Shouldn't be. Go ahead and go ham. Go crazy, guys. Once the bone dancers is underneath us, that's that'll be good. I mean, yeah, I guess technically, um, they won't be. Ooh, more divisions, nice. You know, what, I'm just gonna throw these extra divisions where my rangers are at, right there. But technically, I did say I want to reunite Nevada. But if we end up owning more than Nevada, so be it. I can't just like. Become the state of Nevada. That's not in the focus for you or any decision, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Ooh, more stability for less war support. Just increase both if you can. So, you know what? In the end, I have allied with the NCR. And the Brotherhood. Go figure. Uh, I think I pretty much deserve all this territory, so thank you very much. I could liberate some people, but... Where's the fun in that? Cool. So yeah, we actually have a dockyard now, and we can build convoys, and that's it. Awesome. So that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Um, next time, we might just end up in a war with Kaisar's Legion. That really might be what will happen. I'm not really sure. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. I know some of you are disappointed with my choice with the Brotherhood, but what's done is done. And don't worry, I will play as the Desert Rangers again in the future in a while, but... Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we expand our faction and our lands. Thanks for watching.